So this is the Magic Steam by Beauty Pro. It's a flat iron that I got a while ago, but I have not tried it out yet. This is where the steam comes out to help straighten your hair. It also has like a comb that's already inside the flat iron, but you can remove that. This is the steam pod that you put the water in to allow the steam to come through the flat iron. The display is digital. It goes up to 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. But I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the process of getting my hair what I would like to call nice and straight. I didn't use a blow dryer to um, blow out my hair before I did this. I was just like, I don't really feel like it, so I didn't. And I felt like this was pretty much, you know, good enough um, based on the results that I got. Um, I did do some chopping of my hair before I flat ironed it and during the flat ironing process. So this side that I'm starting off with is all jacked up. I don't know what happened to this side, but the other side is just about perfect. But yeah, um, I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys watch and I'll tune back in and it's you. So in the back I did do smaller sections but when I got to the front I made them much larger because I was tired of the whole process of sitting here and doing it. Yes, I am very lazy when it comes to doing my hair, which is why I always prefer to have some type of protective style that will last me for like a, at least two weeks. So this is definitely where you can see I did the damage to one side of my hair, like how it's all choppy on one side and all together on the other. Yes, I'm definitely not a beautician and I just went a little bit too crazy with the scissors, but it's all good. It's hair. It will grow back. Um, I guess I can tell you guys where I actually got this um, flat iron. I got it off of Amazon and... I believe the price was like two between 230 and 250 um the one that I wanted was like $400 but I was like there has to be another brand that's a little less expensive and I found this one So I've never really been um, the girl that would flat iron her hair a lot. So if I had to rate this flat iron, I would probably give it a, I would say at least an eight out of a 10. Um, the only thing I didn't really like was that the reservoir, um, it had like these little um, suction cups on the bottom so that it could stick to something, but it was kind of like moving all over the place when I had it on the floor and it spilt like once so I had to refill it but once I put it to where it was almost arm level with me I felt like I had you know no more issues with that um it was really easy to flat iron my hair even in those big sections as you see I did the big sections at the top So I would say that the complete process of flat ironing my hair took probably an hour and a half. Um, it probably could have been a little bit quicker than that if I would have started off with big sections in the back as well. But this is pretty much the finished results. Um, I feel like I went through um, each section probably two or three times and hopefully <laughs> I don't have any heat damage. But I like the, the fluffy look. Like, it's not bone straight, but it's like, you know, it's straight enough. And I like this look. 
I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing to my hair this week while it is flat ironed. Probably just putting it in a ponytail or a bun. I did go ahead and add some coconut oil to my hair once I was done with the flat ironing process. But that was pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already hit the notification bell, go ahead and do that so that you know each time that I release a new video. But until the next one, I will see you guys later. Thank you.